why narcissists get away with everything. How do they always manage to do something bad or wrong and then get away with it? How do they always manage to escape after doing something unethical or immoral? It can often seem as though the narcissist is getting away with everything they do. And this is exactly what they would want you to believe. They want you to think that they've done all of these horrible things to you and now they've moved on and they're happy with someone else. They would love for you to think that way. Which is why they're so focused on perception management. They're focused on conveying or denying selected information and creating a favorable impression. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. They cannot let you see them sweating. They cannot let you see them going through the struggles that they have to go through. Because then no one would have any interest in them. It would make them look less attractive and less desirable. It would destroy their false image and reputation. It would make it impossible for them to get supply. You cannot get supply when your life is a mess. But they play pretend. They play make believe. They pretend and imagine that things are better than they really are. Even though their lives are completely ruined. They have mastered pretending that something bad was intentional or on purpose. They have mastered acting like something doesn't bother them or that it didn't happen. Because they have to display an image of attractiveness and usefulness. They have to display an image of happiness and satisfaction to make it look like nothing's wrong to make it look like they're fine like everything's just perfect their life is getting so much better now that they've left you and now they're so much happier they're living their best lives. Or at least, that's what they want you to think. It may look like everything's so easy for them. But really, they're just used to living in unfortunate conditions. They're used to being at a disadvantage. They are comfortable in dysfunctional situations while a normal, functional person wouldn't be able to cope in those conditions. It would hinder, delay or weaken them. Because you wouldn't be worried about how you look to other people. You wouldn't be trying to get attention. You would be more focused on how you got yourself into that situation you would be more focused on how you're going to get yourself out of it. You're not going to be looking for other sources of supply to make you feel better about yourself. But narcissists are used to the instability and insecurity. They're used to unpredictability and unreliability. They're used to failure. It becomes normal to them. It becomes their usual, typical or expected standard.
And while this may cause severe pain or suffering to a normal person, the narcissist likes it. It causes them to feel very enthusiastic and eager. They enjoy it. It relieves the lack of variety and interest. It takes them out of tedious repetition and routine. It takes away their lack of enthusiasm and lack of interest. It takes away their boredom. While a normal person would see it as a catastrophe, they would see it as something that causes suffering, destruction and distress. Something very unfortunate and unsuccessful. A tragedy. But narcissists are mentally ill. And what you might see as a disaster, they see it as something healing. They see it as something that has a good effect on their body and mind. Something that contributes to their sense of well-being. It makes their lives more exciting. It gives them great enthusiasm and eagerness. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't cause them effort, trouble or difficulty. That doesn't mean it doesn't cause them irritation or impatience. They're just more able to deal with it. Narcissists are detached from reality. They live in a fantasy world. They believe that their thoughts and ideas influence the course of events in the material world. They developed these coping and defense mechanisms a long time ago. Before they even met you. As a way of coping with their harsh reality. They use it to cope with their problems and difficulties. Narcissists want to be seen as more elevated and special than what they actually are. They want to be seen as something desirable and attractive. So they know that they have to hide their trash. They have to hide their real lifestyle. They cannot be seen as though they have suffered defeat. They are full of pride and arrogance. They will do whatever it takes to avoid looking like a loser. To avoid looking like someone who has failed. Someone who is unsuccessful. To avoid looking like someone who is disadvantaged by a particular situation or course of action. They might display something that makes it look like they're successful at something. But it's just displayed as something larger or better than what it actually is in reality. It's excessively exaggerated to make it sound impressive. Narcissists have a strong desire to compete. And to make it look like they're winning. 
they will do whatever it takes to make it look like nothing's wrong. But they cannot maintain any form of functionality over a long period of time. Just remember when you were with them. Everything that you had to do. Just so they could keep it together. You will find that you did a lot more for the narcissist. Than you did for anyone else. Before you were with them. And that's because the narcissist is so demanding. They're like a spoiled child. They expect to do or have anything that they want. They develop these behavioral problems from being overindulged in childhood by their parents. So now they constantly want more. They have these insatiable desires. They're never satisfied. Nothing's ever good enough for them. So then you're constantly trying to do more and more for them. Until you're overworking yourself and you haven't even got the time, energy or money to look after yourself. But despite all of this, the narcissist still managed to screw it up. They got everything they wanted from you. They got all of the supply they wanted. But it still wasn't enough for them. Narcissists cannot maintain any form of functionality over a long period of time. Even if they are getting what they want. Even if they are getting supply. If that was all they needed to be happy, then you would still be with them. You would be in a happy, healthy relationship. But you're not. Because the narcissist was too careless and thoughtless. They acted on impulse without any empathy for you. Without any care or consideration for you. They were completely delusional. They were envious and jealous. Because their disorder takes over their ability to make considered decisions. And that is why they make so many bad decisions. They couldn't relate to you or share your experiences. Which ultimately led to failure. Because they cannot be successful when they have all of those dysfunctional traits. They're always trying to escape from reality because they can't cope well with stress. They cannot always have the same attitudes towards people or things. They cannot always achieve the same level of success in something because they lack consistency. Even if the narcissist did become successful in anything, it wouldn't last for long. They are predestined to fail and experience nothing but misery and destruction. And that is why they are so attracted to these types of things. That is why it means so much to them. That is why it has such relevance and significance to them. Because that is where they belong. It's where they're supposed to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk 
where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.